Hello Atheist. I'm making this video because I have some bad news. If you can see my clothes, I'm sure you know what it is. After much thought and prayer, I decided to reconvert to Islam. I mean, it's just that the evidence was so overwhelming. I mean, since you, the Atheist, can't totally disprove the existence of a god or gods, then that must mean that not only is there a god, but that it's also the Islamic god. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves here. There's so much evidence to support that Islam couldn't have come from anything except a god, and that Islam has so much to offer me. For example, immunity from poison. If we read Hadith Volume 7, Book 71, Number 671 from uh, Bukhari, which means it's authentic, narrated Saad, I heard Allah's Apostle say, Whoever drinks, whoever takes seven adwa dates in the morning will not be affected by magic or poison on that day. So we know that Muhammad, who is God's proxy, clearly tells us that we can be immune from poison. So, to prove this hadith true, I'm going to drink a bottle of poison right now. <sighs> and insofar as magic, well, it, I don't seem to be turning into a witch or anything as of yet, so that seems to be working out pretty well also. Oh, and there's more. It turns out that all those darned astronomers and geographers are just wrong and stupid. Because we know that since Islam is from not just a god, but the god, that everything it says is true. And therefore we know that the earth is flat. I mean, the Quran clearly states in Surah 79, Ayah 30, and after that, he spread the earth, which is explained by the Tafsir al jalalin to mean, and after that, he spread out the earth and made it flat, for it had been created before the heaven, but without having been spread out. Now, who can argue with that? Oh, and since we're on the subject of those pesky astronomers, did you know that the earth was created before the universe? Yes, that's right. Surah 41, Ayah 11, in the Quran clearly states, Moreover, he comprehended his design in the sky, and it had been a smoke. He said to it and the earth, Come ye together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, We do come together, in willing and obedience. And Tafsir bin Kathir confirms this by saying, this ayah testifies to the fact that the earth was created before the heaven as Allah has indicated. So that nine billion year gap between the universe as we know it coming into existence and the earth coming into existence? Well, that's just a scientific conspiracy. I mean, come on! If God says it, I believe it. Plain and simple. Well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned next time for more reasons as to why I converted back to Islam. Well, I think that poison is starting to make me feel a little woozy. But that's okay, because I have the word of God on my side.